Do you want to start or grow your own business or simply remain in business? Then welcome to this course on how to design a business model. In this course, we will show you how to design a business model in a structured way. The first question is, what is exactly a business model? Well, a business model describes how a company like yours creates value for its customers and creates value for itself. It is the business logic of the company. Now this is the first video of this course, and perhaps you followed our previous course, The Value of Business Models. In that case, this video is a nice summary of what you've learned. Or perhaps this is the first course you follow with us. In that case, this video will bring you up to speed. So what will you learn in this course? In this first block, we will introduce a design perspective to business models and business model innovation and explain how business model design can be organized in a structured way. Also, we will explain that designing a, a business model requires trade-offs and iterations to get it right. In the second block, we will focus on customer value and how you can create value for customers in novel ways. In the third block, we will show you how you can draw a simple business model, even on a single sheet. In the fourth block, we will introduce some business model innovation questions that entrepreneurs often face and how you can find the tools that will help you answering these questions. In the fifth and final block, we will discuss so-called multi-sided business models that connect different groups of customers, like with Airbnb and Uber. Every block follows the same pattern. We will first give a first introduction to the topic, discuss a case assignment, and present a tool video on how to use a tool when innovating your business model. This will lay the basis for you to apply what you have learned in a small company assignment. You earn credits based on a company and case assignment. Every company has a business model, from your local hairdressers to Netflix and from a small bed and breakfast to Airbnb. They all need to think about their offerings, the value they create for their customers and how they make money to sustain themselves. If you are able to express your business models in a structured way, you already gain a lot, because it makes thinking and communicating about your business model much easier and clearer. This will help you to rethink your current business model or even experiment with new business models. So let's start with the four main components of any business model. And we do this with four simple questions. Who, what, how and what's in it. The first main question is who. That means who are your customers that you create value for? And maybe there are several groups of customers or segments that you want to target. We get back to this important question in the next video about customer segmentation. Now the second main question is what? What do we offer our customers? What is the value proposition? We will discuss customer value extensively in the second block. For now, just remember that the value proposition describes what you offer and what value you create for customers. Suppose you run a restaurant, then the food and drink, the furnishing and the service are your actual offering. The value that you create is about the problem that you solve for your customers. And for the restaurant, the customer problem could be feeling hungry or wanting an evening out. The value that the restaurant creates is an enjoyable experience, hang out with your friends, and a tasty meal, and maybe convenience, as you don't have to cook yourself. The third question is how. How do you create, produce and distribute your offering? You probably need resources like space, machines and technologies. Think about the hairdressers. They need a space, scissors, chairs and maybe hair dryers. And you'll need human resources. And in the case of the hairdressers, that's actually barbers and hairdressers. But maybe also you need a website so people can make their appointments online. You may control all these resources yourself, but you may also have to rely on partners. Again, looking at the example of the hairdressers, the hairdresser could outsource the websites or have vacancies filled by a specialized temp agency. So the how question is all about how you organize production and delivery of value. 
Now the fourth and final question is, what's in it? In what way will you generate money for your firm? So this is about revenues and pricing. What price do you charge for a haircut or dyeing one's hair? Maybe you could offer a subscription for six haircuts du during the year for a reduced price. Or offer a voucher for a free tenth haircut. But it is also about costs and resulting profits. The hairdresser has to pay for its resources like personnel and the rent for the salon. The bottom line, of course, is whether enough revenues are made to cover all the costs. We get back to what's in it in the third block. So to summarize, you have learned why it is useful to design business models in a structured way. And we have shown the four key questions that define any business model. Now, when you change the answers to these questions, then you are actually doing business model innovation. In the following blocks, we will elaborate on those four questions. And in the assignments, you will learn to design your own structured business model. Have fun!